Hi, very warm welcome to this session on how to conduct CFA with M+. In this session, we will learn about the process of conducting CFA. We will also learn about the commands which are used for different functionalities in M+. Besides, we will also learn how to interpret the key fields. In step number one, we need to prepare a data file appropriate for analysis in M+. So this is a data file in SPSS. So file, save as. So then we need to save it as tab delimited format. Right, tab delimited. Then encoding as the local encoding. Then uncheck the option of the right variable names to spreadsheet and save it. So save it in a in any specific folder then come to m plus in m plus go, this is an m plus interface so go to file and click new so when you click new so this kind of the uh, window opens up so this is a space where we have to write the commands so then save it save it remember save it in the same folder where you have saved the data file now let's learn about the commands we will write uh, title colon then we will write the name of the project then data colon file is equal to here we will write the name of the data file for example if name of the data file is data2 so then we will write data2 dot dat dot dat is an extension of tab delimited format secondly you have also keep in mind that put a semicolon at the end of each command so semicolon is an indication that a command is going to end here thoroughly you also keep in mind that uh, if your data file is not located in the same folder where you have saved your m plus file so then you have to write here complete path of the location of the data file here then write variable colon names are here put the complete list of all variables present in your data set then write use variables are here put list of variables which you will use for conducting cfa for example uh, in complete list gender and age are also included but I don't want to use them in CFA so that's why uh, in second list I have omitted them secondly I have put semicolon at the end of the both list so that is an indication that a command is ended here and here besides it's also important to keep in mind that the none of the command line should be longer than 90 characters so that's why at appropriate intervals what you have to do you have to break the lines and start the new ones so then write model colon so here uh, those variables you have to arrange them uh, by constructs for example a1 to a6 so these variables will represent the construct a so i will write them as a by a1 dash a6 i can also write it like a by a. a1 space a2 space a3 space a4 space a5 space a6 then similar treatment i have to give to construct b and c and all other constructs so then i have to establish the covariances among all these uh, constructs for example here in this case there are three constructs so I'll establish uh, three covariances so between A and B between B and C and between A and C so then write <coughs> analysis so uh, in analysis uh, write uh, estimator is equal to ML if your variables are continuous then ml is appropriate and put a semicolon here don't forget to put a semicolon here and if uh, variables are categorical in nature 
so then estimator will be equal to wl sm wl so then write output output will be equal to std yx and semicolon besides there are some other commands also for example uh, if you these are also output commands so in output uh, for example if i want to use the function like sample statistics so i will use the command sam stat so if standardized solutions i need so then i'll simply write standardized if i need residuals so i will simply write residuals if i need modification indices then i will need mod indices one thing more keep also also in mind that uh, when you're talking about this one use variables so you can also write abbreviations till use where v a r here now let's uh, do it in m plus so this is the m plus so i've already written all these commands so title title is uh, uh, cfa or pr project so we call it so data is file is equal to so this is my name of my data file semicolon then variable names are so these are all variables i have taken from uh, spss <clears throat> then uh, use uh, variables or so simply copy them since these are exactly same ones so uh, uh, I have uh, copied them exactly and put them, pasted them here. Then model. Uh, while writing model, I've simply again pasted uh, them here. And uh, before each line, I have put the name of the relevant construct. For example, PR1, PR2, PR3, PR4. So these are the items of the construct PR. And uh, TI1, TI2, TI3, TI4. These four are the items of uh, the construct turnover intentions, TI, and on and on. Then, uh, let me delete it. So then what I did basically, since uh, these variables are, uh, there are three main variables, mean three main constructs. So uh, I established the covariance is to pick like PR with TI and PR with AC and then AC with ti and semicolon so you have noticed that the, at the end of each uh, constructs list i have put uh, semicolon an indication that a command is going to end here then analysis in analysis what i did basically uh, estimate is equal to ml even if you don't write it by default it will be considered as ml then output i have given three outputs here standardized sample stack and modification indices once you have put all these uh, commands then save it again and run it so here we go so here are the results so you see first we need to examine the fit indices so these are the fit indices so if you see here so chi square chi square test so these uh, this value divided by degree of freedom should be less than three so it looks fine or msca so its value should be less than ideally less than 0 0.05 uh, however it's acceptable up to 0 0.08 less than that so it's uh, less than 0 0.08 so it's acceptable cfi so ideally it should be greater than 0 0.95 and uh, DLI also should be greater than 0.95. However, uh, up to 0 0.90 are acceptable. So TLI is slightly uh, on lower sides. So then uh, is the SRMR, so its value should also be less than 0 0.05. So it's also it's acceptable. Now let me examine the loadings. <coughs> Standardized ones. So here we go. So these are the loadings of the constructs. So then uh, let me examine modification indices. So if you keep scrolling down, so you will find the modification indices. These are the modification indices. 
if I check these modification indices, so this one seems a little bit on higher sides. So this is between PR4 and PR1. So since these two belong to the same constructs, so we have no harm in establishing covariance among the error term of these two. So how we do it? So let me go back to the main file. So input file. So this is the input file. So here what I do, I write here PR1 with PR4 and semicolon. And then save it. And then run it again. So let's examine the fit indices. So fit indices, you see chi scale has improved and RMSCA has also improved and CFI and TLI, they are also improved. So TLI is now, so both are rather, both are um, within ideal range. SRMR is also fine. So, so then you can also examine the uh, standardized uh, loadings. So then you can examine the modification indices also. So you see here. So both the values are on lower sides besides the we, we belong to different constructs. So this is how we conduct CFA with M plus. Thanks for watching.